Oh, here we are at the lower course of the River Severn, and this is going to be the final video of our travel from the source of the River Severn to the mouth, which is just a little way along the, of the, along the river here of the Severn. So the mouth being the point where the river meets the sea. So look at this. The river is now so, so much wider. Look at this flat environment compared to when we're up in the Plymouthian Hills at the source of the River Severn in such a mountainous area in the middle of Wales versus now here close to the Bristol Channel. It is so flat, so expansive and what the river is now so, so wide. It's the amount of tributaries that have joined the river, lots of different rivers, the Avon, that have joined up allowing so much water to flow towards the estuary of the River Severn. So a key concept there, an estuary. An estuary is a uh, the mouth of a river, so the river where, point where the river meets the sea, but is influenced by tides. So we can see here, we're at a low tide here. We can see what looks like a mud flat. It looks like we're on the coast really, but here a mud flat where the river, or sorry, the river, the tide has gone out. And so the, it's, it's, a, it's left these mud flats. When we're at a high tide, this would be inundated with water. And obviously this is all a floodplain here. So when we have lots of precipitation, lots of rainfall, this would this whole area when the river bursts its bank would be flooded. And we can see here it's agriculture, it's farming land. We've got some cows in the background here. This would be great farming land, lots of alluvium. But the problem is you wouldn't be able to grow many crops here because of the risk of flooding from the River Severn here at this point of the lower course. So looking at the profile, it's really flat. We'll have a very fast point in the river. Obviously at the moment it's influenced by the tides of the waters going out. Um, and so you'll be influenced by that. So we've got an estuary here, but in different coastlines, you'll have different landforms being created that aren't influenced by the tide. One of those is a delta. When you have a delta, that is where the, the river meets the sea. But when a river meets the sea, because you've got salt water, huge band of salt water versus fresh water, the river will slow down. When a river slows down, it loses energy. When it loses energy, it will deposit its sediment, its load, the material it's carried along the river. When it deposits its load, it starts to create these different channels, which are called distributaries and areas where the sediment has been uh, been deposited these these mini islands and so over time all these different distributaries these different river channels flowing around create these incredible areas for farmers when you're looking in Bangladesh the Nile Delta these are amazing areas for farmers to have agriculture and to grow different things there but like I said in my previous video building a dam will stop the sediment from flowing along the river. When you don't have the sediment, the delta will not increase in size. And when we have down here uh, at the coastal, or further down the coastline, with climate change, with changing of our natural environment, we will start to experience rising sea levels. As we're an island, we'll be impacted by rising sea levels. When you're impacted by rising sea levels, as this is impacted by, by uh, tides, more water will come in, it could lead to increased flooding. When you're looking at a delta, rising sea levels will then start to damage, erode the delta, and that is people's farmland, people's livelihoods, what have you. So, the big change from the upper course of the river. Upper course of the river, you see V-shaped valleys, interlocking spurs, you see um, waterfalls, then you move down into the middle course of the river. That's where you start to get a bit flatter. The river starts to increase in size. It starts to meander around, um, around hard and soft rock. You start to get levees forming. Okay, those raised banks like I explained in my previous video. And now here at the lower course of the river, we start to see thing, formations like deltas, an estuary deposition starting to take place as the river is meeting the coastline where it starts to slow down, lose its energy and deposition starts to take part. But wow, look at this, the changes we've experienced along the River Severn. It is such a different natural environment to what we started at in the Plymouthian Hills in the middle of Wales. Further down we've got the Mitt River's mouth, the point where the river meets the sea and we can see how this is an amazing natural environment, vast, expansive, very flat, 
great for agriculture. Um, we can see shipping, human actions being done um, along the coastline here. And with the changes that we could experience in the future with rising sea levels, change of our climate, this whole area could be impacted with increased rates of flooding. Once again, what a trip. What a, um, a, uh, a an experience from the source to mouth of the River Severn. Once again, some superb geography in action.